Miss. Money in the bank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, accompanied by Nathaniel. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, she is Mrs. Money in the Bank, Megan. We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. I don't think the champ cares that this is a non-title match. She's going to approach this thing with the same vigor and enthusiasm as she usually does. I wouldn't question that for a second, Cole. And that's what I like about her. She's always giving a full effort no matter what the circumstances. It's just an infectious feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes. Everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the rock star. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. Carmella is the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Here we go, guys. Tag team action Ooh. is underway.
There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Ooh. Drop kick. Beautiful. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. For as good as Carmella is, Corey, the unfortunate truth is she's not above bending the rules a bit to gain an advantage. <laughs> I don't know what's so unfortunate about that, Cole. The goal is to win, and there are few better at finding different ways to win than Carmella. It's not her fault the officials don't know how to do their jobs. Go behind. Breaker. Well, Corey clearly has no issue with Carmella's nefarious in-ring style, but Byron, her opponents most certainly do. They do, Michael, but they also know what they're getting into ahead of time. So they know that they have to be on the lookout all match long for any shortcuts Carmella might take. Byron cap crushers in. Cinched in. Nowhere to go. Carmella may be in a bad way here. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them now. These, these women are so evenly matched at this point, guys. There's just no telling which one of them will walk out of here victorious. You know, I've known Bailey for a long time, and it pains me to say how susceptible she is to being betrayed. For some reason, her trust and kindness become a weakness that many superstars have exploited. Oof! Harsh impact! And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Observing how Bailey is constantly being betrayed as Byron did has given her a reputation as a pushover among the women in WWE. I think her desire to be everyone's friend holds Bailey back from making history of her own. No, not true, Cole. Bailey has been stabbed in the back more times than anybody in history. That is a feather in the cap of her legacy. She's able to get out of the way there. Beautiful technique. We're looking at complete domination here. Look at the look in her eyes. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. Look at him go. Setting up for a neck breaker. Firing it small. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. And there's that corner exploder suplex. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Absolutely punishing. Belly to belly. What a maneuver. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. And it's Bailey feeling fired up. Saxton gushed over Bailey's first WWE Women's Championship win like he stole Bailey's diary or something. If that just wasn't the cutest, most heartwarming story you ever told, Saxton. No, Corey, I'm not going to allow you to be a negative Nancy on this. Bailey told her dad she was going to stand in the ring as a champion one day, and she did just that. Shoulders on the back. And kicks out at two. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. When Bailey finally made it to her first WrestleMania in Orlando, the reality outdid her dreams. Walking in as the Raw Women's Champion, the Huggable One had a boss, a queen, and an irresistible force to overcome. Oh, nice belly to back. That could be a game changer. Just breaking down the opponent. She is on fire. 
Rewinding back to Bailey's WrestleMania debut, you can't underscore what winning that match against Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Nia Jax meant to Bailey's confidence. She showed everyone she was worthy of being a champion. It pains me to admit it. The code of silence! Is it enough, though? Bailey has spent her whole career. No, she breaks it. Wow, she's quite the escape artist, Michael. No reverses it. Carmella is in position. We're looking at complete domination here. You gotta believe this one's over. Things are looking bleak for Bailey here. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. She goes for the cover. Michael, to pick up on what you said about Bailey not getting respect, it dates all the way back to her time at NXT. You would think after her success there, no one would really underestimate her again. I'll sum up the answer. Bailey came over to larger waters up against bigger fish, and now she's just happy with her spot at the kitty table while the adults run the women's division. It's become Bailey's MO to fight from underneath. Since her days as NXT, she's had to overcome setback after setback. Well, certainly she counters before it's too late. A second time. This might be it! Oh my! I bet you feel foolish, Rock. She goes for the cover. How did she kick out? Man, Bailey is running on her fumes, but that didn't stop her from escaping there. We hopped on Bailey's underdog pass. It still sticks with taking a shortcut here. Come on, Rev. You can't let her get away with that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Ronaldo. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Oh, Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, look at just. Oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. The princess of Staten Island has always been known for her unique brand of offense, but the code of silence takes that idea to a totally different level. Boom! <laughs> here comes Bailey to nail it. Bailey can end it here, but now can Bailey capitalize? The Moonwalk and Bronco Buster just got Carmella warmed up by force. She's locked and loaded and taking no prisoners. Look at her go. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, she doesn't want to take too many more of those. Beautiful corkscrew elbow drop. Bang! Oh, and she's dropped there. Yeah, she might be done here, guys. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! Wait a minute. There goes the ref. Man down. Full impact. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. It's locked in! Game, set, match. This one is over. And we have our winners. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. That's a woman on a mission. She's taking care of business. Look at her go. And last but not least, there was this. Here are your winners. The rock star and the princess of Staten Island, Carmella. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight.
Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about...